level 15s in the game. B-Dad's got something to say about that. To catch y'all's up, it's not gonna cost any gold. Why did I say cost so weird? They promised us no gold. Slash Ral, spend all your gold, and they were right about that. But elite wild cards, 50,000 elite wild cards are needed to get to level 15. Look at that. A legendary gives you 200 elite wild cards. A common, if it's maxed out, gives you two wild cards. A champion gives you 500. You would need 100 champion cards to get one level 15. Magic books. It's gonna give you 5,000 elite wild cards. That is one-tenth the progression to level 15. They took away magic books from the past and then they nerfed it for level 15. Could they really nerf it if it never maxed out to level 15? Based on these gold calculations, because you, you get gold spillage when it's max level. Based on these calculations, legendaries are pretty good bang for the buck for elite value, I guess. And in theory, if you're maxed out and you have max gold, you can get 99,000 elite wild cards per season. That's two level 15s that you can afford per season, per month. And if you buy the premium pass, that's 34,000 elite wild cards. I think B-Rad said in the video, if you're maxed out, you're only going to be one third of the progression. But Supercell is arguing that we like the chase. Here's a comment by Jivkin. He's right that a lot of players like to always have something to work towards. And he's talking about Drew. And that thing can't be trophies, Path of Legends, because less skilled players will just get frustrated and they hit the skill ceiling and quit. It's just that they forgot that it's possible to give people goals that aren't just do what you've been doing, but longer and not more rewarding and actually change the gameplay loop and don't actively worsen it. To increase the gameplay loop, they're adding level 15. <laughs> Fireballs, a plus one fireball kills Musketeer. Plus one graveyard is going to survive a lot of interactions. Let's check out TV Rail and what they have for the sneak peeks. Okay, it's like a 90s show. Yo. Are you staring at that carrot? Yes. Nice. What's in the bag? In honor of card evolution, I have built... Elite levels? Okay. Point things and they evolve. Can I try? No. Aww. Can you try evolving my dead plants? Do they still use laugh tracks? Whoa! <laughs> try my lunch. Um. Whoa. What about my cousin? <laughs> Can he evolve Whoa. my eggplant? No, no, no. I don't think it's a good idea. Whoa. Okay. We're trying a slightly different format today, so let us know what you think in the comments. But of course, what we are going to discuss is a huge thing in Clash Royale, card evolution. We've got four new evolutions coming. Yeah, we know yeah, about that. I think I covered yeah, the sneak peeks. E-barbs. Uh, I mean, well, regular barbs. Skeletons and royal giant. So when the update drops, you'll be able to unlock all four evolutions. And there'll be different ways to unlock them, but we'll get onto that in a bit. We're going to show you. Like, what are the four different ways? I'm kind of lost. The evolution is for Boreans. Yeah. So the evolution is that they are better, faster, stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sue us, Daft Punk. So yeah, you'll play the Barbarian's evolution. Each hit that they do, they'll gain hit speed and movement speed. But not they permanently. Tower, and they will just like tear through that tower. Oh it's man, that's powerful. that's deadly, but it's five elixir. This one is firecracker, yeah. which is my personal favorite. So no, the normal firecracker. Is just it's almost like a poison effect. Fireworks, and know when at the end of the projectile you will have like area of damage with more fireworks. It deals like damage over time, so that uh, firecracker will kind of block the lane that she's. I think it's not enough damage over time to give enough substantial value because it doesn't even kill skeletons immediately. Skeletons next. Yeah, uh, they're actually my favorite. Uh, they nerfed that. It's maximum six skeletons now. <laughs> Basically, the and it takes an extra cycle. More skeletons with every hit that they make. You can put the skeletons down. There's like four of them instead of three, and they will just continue multiplying up to like a max of eight or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maximum of six now. So you have to react to the to the skeleton. You can be not like okay, I'm gonna leave them to the cheap damage. Next one. Wild giant, the big one. They're also nerfing the knockback of the royal giant a little bit. It's got a pretty big upgrade uh, with yeah. his evolution. He does uh, recoil damage now around like himself, I guess. Yeah. So you can't really. Damage. It's basically like the knockback of a fireball. He's because he damages you back. So yeah. it's pretty good. It's a pretty cool evolution. Changes the way you actually play with these cards. And I think that was what we wanted to do with card evolutions was make them like kind of like a new card. Yeah. But without adding all the stuff that comes with a new a new card, like the leveling and stuff. You basically just unlock them and then you have them and you can play with them 
So yeah, everything sounds cool, but the next question is how do you unlock Carl Evolution? Oh, how, how do you unlock it? With Evolution Shards. Which I'm going to call Evo Shards for short. Basically, you take six Evo Shards to unlock. Carl and how hard is it to get so six Evo Shards? I want to get my skeletons evolved. I need to get six skeletons Evolution Shards. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So the plan is also to add one new evolution every season, starting from uh, July season. Yeah. One July. new evolution per season. I like this. Yeah, it's like a I was going to do a terrible impression that people can guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can guess from that what yes, it's going to be. So yeah. there's a... Uh, like How is the three-card cycle of champions going to affect this? That's going to make the evolutions cycle faster. Do you want to cycle faster? I found when I was playing Barbarians, I was just putting them down for the sake of putting them down, and then I just got countered and I wasted 10 elixir. One card evolution in there. And if you've unlocked the evolution, it will unlock it in your deck for you to play. So in Clash Royale, you have the card cycle. So I play Barbarians and I've got to wait for it to come back round to play it again. Yeah, yeah we know that. And then evolutions work. So I'll the play second round, you play it, time, you, you rotate back. it and it becomes evolved. Once but then it's unevolved. It goes back to the regular form. So you have to kind of like manage your evolutions as well. If you want to play Barbarians. But I like the change in depth of this. One, you want to play a different evolution. You can still play Barbarian in your deck as yeah. the regular form and have another evolution in the evolution slot. We're hoping that this will uh, increase ways that people will be playing like decks instead of just having like the exact same deck with the exact same. Evo. Sheesh! You can unlock these from Pass Royale, the shop, Season Shop, I think, Challenges. Yes. yes. So uh, everything. How many yeah, shards can we get from the, like, per season? season? So I wonder how many shards you get as free to play, how many you can get as pay to win. Yeah. So we said it in a previous video with like max levels. Are no more. Yeah. Max level is no more. And elite level. Oh, oh they scammed yeah. us the bait and switch. <laughs> Max level is being renamed to elite level. And the reason why this is is because to get to elite level uh, is slightly different than how you get from like level 13 to level 14. Yeah. So each 50,000 elite cards to get that. Two elite levels per season. Or if you base it on these calculations, if you buy the crappy chests in the game, which is a, a totally unfair comparison just to preface this. It would cost you $30,000 to max out. But that's not the point. They don't want you to max out. Card you get of the level 14 card, we converted into elite wild cards. Use this elite wild card to upgrade your cards to level. Oh, that hurts. No. You only 500 elite wild cards for a champion. What we are doing also in this update is extending the trophy road with three new arenas. Ooh. Off the top of my head. Uh, I'm still 6,600. Clash Fest Arena and the Pancake Arena. Yes. The mini oh, yeah. they're bringing the old, old arenas back. I like that. Yeah, they're the new arenas. And I think the trophy cap now is 9,000 yeah, yeah. for Legendary Arena. So yeah, so the trophy road ends at 9,000 now. That's like an extra 1,500 trophies mm -hmm. to grind through to use. 9,000 trophies? Jeez. Yeah, just to have some good old fun. Yeah, yeah. Way more gold. That was another thing. Yeah. Yes. Three, <laughs> three times as much gold. Yeah. Uh, mostly uh, in the chest. They will be mostly in the chest. So again, why? So the chest cycle will have more gold. That's that's nice. Level, and yeah. that we want all your collection to go to level 14 as fast as possible. So you can enjoy elite wildcard yeah. as first as possible. <laughs> is the play again button coming back? Yes. Ma no, again, maybe it's good. So, well, we don't want to kill 2v2, right? No, not, no. Not happening. No. Yeah. We swear. Yeah. They don't want to, but they did. <laughs> the last update uh, when we removed crowns. Uh, yeah, he did. The event tab. And thanks to your feedback, we're adding them back. Now you can get crowns for your pass row and yeah, chest for your chest slots yeah. from just playing the event tab. So thanks for us putting that back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're adding 20 new king levels that will actually allow you to get your tower 20? up to level 15 as well. Level 15 <laughs> king tower? <laughs> That's new to me. I didn't know that was happening. <laughs> but we hope you enjoy how Clash Royale is evolving. This was definitely a risky channel, no part. I'm excited yeah. about evolutions. So you think about evolutions, you're excited. Which one is your favorite? Skeletons. Skeletons for sure. And roll giant. So... I love the concept of evolutions. It's going to change the way we play challenges, 2v2, everything else. Elite wild cards, I'm never touching ladder. I, I, fun fact, I've only pushed ladder twice in the last five years because I hate it. I'm going to work towards the level 15, but I'm never going to touch ladder. A plus one interactions always piss me off. When your skeletons don't counter graveyard, when your barbarian barrel doesn't counter a plus two goblin barrel well i guess elite wild card is just plus one that's not a fair comparison but fireball kills all the wizards in one hit 
<clears throat> that's not fun. So that's why I don't touch ladder. If you're maxed out, you're only one third maxed out now. I'm not, I'm not messing with ladder. I did rough math and you probably get anywhere from 30 to 40,000 elite wild cards a month for the average free to play player. If you're grinding every day for hours and hours and hours, I'm sure you can get 60, 70,000 a month. I'm sure it's possible. But for the average player, you're not going to get more than 30,000. That means if it takes 50,000 per card from level 14 to 15, there's over 100 cards. That's what, 5 million? It's going to take literally over 10 years. Over 10 years to upgrade all your cards one level in Clash Royale. Not true, B Dad. Uh, actually, according to Royale API, we can get 99k. That's two elite levels a month. That's 24 elite levels a year. It's not going to take 10 years, B Dad. It's going to take four years, please. <laughs> Even Lex talked about this. When I heard Clash Royale Dev said no gold for level 15, I thought that was great. Now we find out what it takes to get level 15 cards. Absolutely insane. I wanted to give the level 15 thing a chance, even though it wasn't needed. I can't even do that. Oh yeah, for sure. They do care. Evolutions look amazing. But the cost of upgrades is wild to me. I'm going to take a stand. I am not going to upgrade a single card to level 15. Yeah. Not until... They change the conversion rate or lower the amount of wild cards per card to upgrade to level 15. Yeah, I'm going to take a stand too and not touch ladder. I'm still going to upgrade them though. That's just my OCD and I need to progress my account. The way my parents raised me, it's so wasteful to have those elite cards sitting. I think you can only hold like, it's the maximum amount you can hold. You can hold 400,000. Oof. All the creators, right when they saw 50,000 elite wild cards, we tried telling them that this was just the biggest mistake to expand on that we said that level 15 was a bad idea and that almost no one would be happy about that so what they did was they changed it and they removed the cost of gold and then they sprung on us that elite wild cards are how it is so they did take our feedback they did listen but i think they reworked it in ways that a lot of us might not agree on the devs do genuinely think that most players want to progress with higher levels based on the fact that more players were playing when level 14 was out. I personally think that level 14 happened at the same time as champions. So correlation, causation, I don't know. I can say what I want to say to the devs. They listen, but they don't actually respond. So they did listen about level 15 and they made it non-cost gold, but I, I think they made the situation worse. <laughs> so they, they kind of did listen to us actually. In their defense, we said that skeletons were busted. I think even Lucas was like, this needs to be nerfed like right now. So they nerfed it. Skeletons from eight to six. The, uh, the evolved skeletons max from eight to six. And it's going to take one extra cycle. Roll giant knockback. It's getting nerfed. They've been listening to us about evolution feedbacks and balances. Especially balance changes, by the way. But level 15, they are really adamant on it. They, they are not budging. With reasoning it's just they keep repeating their reasoning they don't respond and it's just infuriating because i don't know what to do we have tried i'm not the only one there's other creators orange juice trash with lame uh cash man just to don't do shane wrong like that his name's in shane <laughs> i couldn't keep a straight face okay shane shane anyway, it's in shane honestly if they just made the books be able to get you to level 15, brought it back into the free tier, I think that would solve so many issues. Because if I don't, I know this game will die. It's not if, it's just a matter of when. Ah, okay, that's one of the few things I disagree with B-Dad here. Because evolutions are insane. The game's not going to die. Ladder's going to die. Maybe. No, it won't. Mid-ladder will just be weirder. But evolutions! That's going to be fun for challenges, 2v2, all the other events. I'm, I'm looking forward to evolutions. Let me know what y'all think about this update. I'm gonna, I'm actually excited. And level 15 is a write-off to me. I don't even care about it anymore. It's, it's to the point where it's like, okay, I'm gonna get elite cards. I'm gonna level it up, but I'm not, I'm never touching ladder. I'm not touching Path of Legends when they bump it up to level 15. Forget that. I love challenges though. Evolutions, I'm excited. Oh, and also they didn't mention this TV real, but they're also replacing gems with the gold mastery. 